my name is Amanda, and this video is an introduction to content category 2A, specifically membrane-bound organelles and characteristics of the eukaryotic cell. For those of you following along with the content guides, that's going to be 2A, lesson group A. This lesson group is really your basic cell bio, like think high school bio, all right? Good news is there's no plants, right? So no cell walls or chlorophyll, but you do need to be very comfortable with the basic organelles, their functions, and the cytoskeleton of a eukaryotic cell. So the way this will be tested on the MCAT is used as a basic foundation for other topics and questions. You're unlikely to get a question that just says, what is the function of a lysosome? Instead, they'll expect you to know the function of a lysosome and ask you what would happen if there was a genetic mutation, think 1B, that then causes a malfunction in the enzymes within a lysosome, right? So understanding what the general function of each organelle is will allow you to answer questions that bring in some biochemistry mechanisms and some biology topics that you'll see later on. So in terms of depth, I give this a depth meter rating of about three. You do need to be submerged in the topic. You need to be comfortable with all the organelles and their functions. And this is not going to be a graduate level cell biology test. All right. So as you study this, I want you to ask yourself the question as you look at this learning goal, do I need to study this topic or am I pretty familiar with the organelles and the cytoskeleton and their basic functions? If it's been months or years since you've seen this picture, it might be worth going to the link in the description below, which will take you to some basic videos on organelles in this topic. In terms of priority, I rank this as low medium. It's only medium, like I said, because it's such a foundational topic. In terms of direct questions, it's not gonna be very highly tested. So again, if you're pretty comfortable with your basic cell bio, you did well in your bio one-on-one -on -one class in college, this is something to spend minimal time on. The related topics are going to be pretty much all the biochemistries, 1D metabolism, specifically when we're talking about things like lipid biosynthesis in the smoothie R, and the mitochondria. There's also a relationship to genetics, 1B, of course, with the nucleus and the functions there. And for 2C, which is reproduction, that's going to be connected in terms of the cytoskeleton and how the cytoskeleton helps with processes such as mitosis. My personal videos are going to be focused on the ER versus free ribosomes and clarifying what types of proteins are being made by each and apoptosis and how apoptosis is likely to be tested in an experimental style passage on the MCAT. Have fun diving into your basic cell biology topics, and I'll see you in the next video.